Tahiti has a long and rich history. The islands were first settled by migrating Polynesians as early as 500 BC. They were later discovered by European explorers during the 16th century and eventually colonized by France. Now officially known as French Polynesia, Tahiti is an autonomous overseas country of the French Republic. Ancient history. 4000 BC, 1000 AD. The Great Migration from Southeast Asia began around 4000 BC, in which daring seafarers sailed the open ocean in their large, double-hulled canoes, using only the sun, stars, wind, ocean currents, and flight patterns of the birds to navigate to new islands. Researchers conclude that Tonga and Samoa were settled as early as 1300 BC. From there, another migratory wave brought these new explorers even farther eastward, reaching the Marquesas around 500 BC. Over the next several centuries, the voyages continued north to the Hawaiian Islands, east to Easter Island, and south to the Tuamotu Archipelago and the remaining Tahitian Islands. Raiatea, known historically as Hawaii, eventually became the religious and cultural center. From there, around 1000 AD, the canoes proceeded to the Cook Islands and New Zealand, completing the Polynesian Triangle. Colonial History 1500 AD, 1900 AD The era of European exploration began when the mysterious ships without outriggers started to arrive. In 1520, Ferdinand Magellan spotted the atoll of Puka Puka in the Tuamotu Archipelago while sailing to the Philippines. In 1595, Alvaro de Mendaña de Neira was returning to the Solomon Islands and happened upon Fatu Hiva in the Marquesas. Then in 1606, Pedro Fernández de Quiros discovered a number of the Tuamotu atolls. This was the last of the Spanish explorations in the Pacific during that era. Captain Samuel Wallace was the first documented explorer to discover the island of Tahiti. He anchored the British vessel HMS Dolphin in Matavai Bay on June 23, 1767, and claimed the island in the name of King George III. Soon after, Admiral Louis Antoine de Bougainville, unaware of Wallace's arrival, landed on the opposite side of Tahiti and claimed the island for France in 1768. In April 1769, Captain James Cook made his first trip to Tahiti aboard the HMS Endeavour to watch the transit of Venus. He later returned, visiting Muria, Rayatea, Taha, Huahine, Bora Bora, Tupai and Malpiti, which he named the Society Islands. European fascination with Tahiti and the South Pacific expanded once Cook and his crew brought back the first map of the islands and illustrations of the indigenous flora and fauna. This intrigue was piqued even further as news spread of the famous mutiny aboard the HMS Bounty, led by Lieutenant Fletcher Christian against Captain William Bly in 1789. Soon, every country in the Western world wanted to attain paradise. The arrival of British and French missionaries in the 1800s provoked a rivalry between England and France for control over the islands, and this forever changed the way of life in Tahiti. Recent History, 1900 A.D., Present The native Pomare family ruled until December 29, 1880, when Tahiti finally became a French colony. In 1957, the islands were reconstituted into a French overseas territory and given the official name French Polynesia. In the early 1960s, a large harbor was built in Papeete, an international airport was built in Fa'a, and a huge crew descended onto the islands to film the movie mutiny on the bounty. These rapid changes quickly brought French Polynesia into the modern age. In 1977, the French government granted autonomy to French Polynesia. Then, on February 12, 2004, it became an overseas country of the French Republic. But nothing on Tahiti is so majestic as what faces it across the bay, for there lies the island of Morea. To describe it is impossible. It is a monument to the prodigal beauty of nature. James A. Missioner Tahitian Culture Tahitians inherited a rich and vibrant culture from their ancient ancestors. Polynesian artistry, which includes weaving, wood carving, and tattooing, is grounded in the mythology of that heritage. Each sacred tradition tells a colorful story about life, love, and their enduring relationship with nature, people. 
Tahitians are the proud guardians of their cultural heritage and therefore represent the beauty of timeless tradition. They love to celebrate their customs through artwork, song, and dance. These warm, welcoming Polynesians possess an innocent and carefree spirit. Their philosophy, Aida PP, meaning not to worry, is truly the Tahitian way of life. Textiles Before the arrival of European missionaries, Polynesian clothing was traditionally made from tapa cloth, which consisted of dried pandanus leaves, coconut fibers, and breadfruit bark. The local women at that time wore one single garment, called a perio, wrapped around their waist. Today, this colorful article of clothing, like a sarong, is made from two yards of dyed fabric and can be worn by both men and women in a variety of ways. The missionaries not only introduced fabric to the islands, but also taught the local women the art of patchwork. Today, these matriarchs, affectionately known as Tahitian mamas, sew colorful quilts known as tifefi. Each tapestry is unique, made from handmade floral applique designs meant to reflect their inherent love of nature. Now a treasured wedding gift, it is wrapped around the couple during a traditional Polynesian wedding ceremony. Music, along with dance, is an integral part of everyday life in the islands. The instruments are minimal, but the sound is reverberant. Tahitian music can best be identified by the fast tribal rhythms of the wooden drums known as pahu. These drums, traditionally covered in shark skin, are played alongside the tuere, a long cylindrical drum with a split down the side for higher pitched percussion. Other traditional instruments include the pu, or conch shell, the vivo, or nose flute, and the ukulele. Dance Tahitian dance is the most authentic reflection of Polynesian culture. This extraordinary display of passion and vitality was once linked to all aspects of island life, including prayer, celebration, welcoming, and storytelling. The signature tamura, or fast hip-shaking motion, has become an unmistakable trademark of this captivating art form, matched only by the resounding rhythms of the Tahitian drums. Tattoos The tattoo, derived from the Tahitian word tatao, is an ancient art form used to express identity and personality. Nearly everyone in ancient Polynesia was marked by the tattoo, indicating one's genealogy and rank within society. For young men in this culture, each tattoo was a badge of honor, a sign of courage, and a testament of manhood, since they endured months of agony to complete their mark. The process is now more streamlined, but the designs and their significance remain the same. Fresh Market Foods In Tahiti, an abundance of fresh seafood, tropical fruits, and organic vegetables are treated to the culinary talents of international chefs. The cuisine is usually French with Polynesian influence, providing a fusion of gourmet flavors prepared with locally sourced ingredients. The public marketplace in Papite, Le Marche, is where the locals find the freshest fare, including vegetables, fruit, vanilla, and brightly colored fish. This vibrant marketplace is best on Sunday mornings, but well worth a visit any day of the week. In addition to food and floral arrangements, artists sell woven baskets, wood carvings, and Tahitian textiles. Cuisine Across the boulevard from La Marche is the waterfront promenade, Vaillette Square, where the famous food trucks known as Les Roulottes open nightly to serve a range of affordable meals. Snacks include Chinese food, French crepes, steak sandwiches, pomace frites, fresh fish, and pizza. The food and atmosphere are both excellent, the signature dish in Tahiti is poisson cru, or raw fish. The flavor defines the essence of the destination, sweet, tender, refreshing, and exotic. It consists of raw tuna marinated in lime juice and mixed with a delicious blend of diced vegetables and coconut milk, island or atoll. The archipelagos consist of high volcanic islands and low coral atolls. Over time, volcanic islands start to sink below the surface. The surrounding coral, which needs light to survive, grows upward and gradually separates from the subsiding island. Eventually, the volcano disappears, leaving behind the inner lagoon within a string of coral islets known as an atoll. Rangiroa is an example of this phenomenon, while Bora Bora could be considered a partial atoll since the center of the island is still above water. Hidden Interiors 
The inner valleys are also brimming with hidden waterfalls, natural pools, and winding rivers. The island of Tahiti is especially aqueous, from the cascading Fatawa Falls to the streaming Papa Nu Valley and the vast Lake Vaihiria. These interiors are ideal for island exploration, whether by hike, jeep safari, or even canoe. The Faroa River on Rayatea, for instance, is the only navigable river in French Polynesia and therefore accessible by canoe, kayak, or motorboat. Mountains. On the volcanic islands, high, jagged peaks rise dramatically from lush interiors. The panoramic views from these vantage points are well worth the trek. These iconic hillsides played an important role in ancient Polynesian culture. Many myths and legends are used to explain their shape, whether describing the hole in Mount Muaputa on Murea, or the silhouette of a pregnant woman on the fertile island of Huahin, Fauna. The bird population is the most noteworthy in French Polynesia, with over 100 species among the islands. The coastal birds, such as boobies, tropic birds, and terns, feed from the lagoon but roost on land. The shorebirds, such as Pacific heron, golden plovers, and tattlers, are seasonal migratory species. The land birds include the reed warbler, the rare Marquesas kingfisher, and the colorful ultramarine lorikeet. Tikehau is home to the largest colony of seabirds, providing a natural aviary on its aptly named bird island. Fish The calm lagoon waters of French Polynesia are home to countless species of fish, shellfish, crustaceans, and sea turtles. Encounters include tuna, snapper, parrotfish, angelfish, clownfish, butterflyfish, and triggerfish, as well as manta rays, moray eel, and reef sharks. For this reason, the islands of Tahiti are the ultimate locale for snorkeling and scuba diving. Flora. Exotic plants and flowers flourish in the rich tropical soil surrounding French Polynesia. Varieties include bird of paradise, hibiscus, red and pink ginger, orchids, and roses. Floral adornment is anchored in Polynesian culture. Thus flowers are often worn or gifted in the form of decorative lays and highs, crowns. The tiare, or Tahitian gardenia, is the national emblem of French Polynesia. When placed behind the left ear, the flower signifies the person is taken. When placed behind the right ear, it signifies the person is romantically available. One variation of this flower, the tiare apatahi, is so rare and delicate that it cannot be grown anywhere else in the world. The island's signature scent, monoi oil, is made from coconut oil infused with the fragrant tiare flower. Used in every spa in Tahiti, this hydrating oil promotes smooth, healthy skin and serves as the base for an entire range of soaps, lotions, and cosmetics. Vanilla. The vanilla in Tahiti is exceptionally rich and fragrant. Grown from an orchid plant, the Tahitian variety is a rare species with an incredible aroma and international acclaim. The beans are more supple and richer in oil than many species, making them highly desirable among connoisseurs. The islands of Huahine and Taha'a are most famous for their vanilla plantations. Black Pearls The warm Tahitian lagoons are also ideal for the cultivation of the exquisite and highly prized black pearl. The distant Tuamotu atolls are blessed with an abundant population of the Pinctada margaritifera, the only oyster in the world capable of producing the rich hues characteristic of these unique island gems, from light silver to the darkest of gray, with shimmering tones of pink and green. Travel Guide, Tahiti, Queen of the Pacific The heart and soul of the South Pacific, Tahiti is the largest in a chain of islands that make up French Polynesia. The name can either refer to the main island or the entire destination. Commonly referred to as the Islands of Tahiti, French Polynesia is a collection of 118 islands and atolls scattered across an impressive nautical surface area the size of Western Europe. Still, these tiny islands, many of which remain uninhabited, make up a total landmass of only 1,600 square miles, 4,100 sqkm. The locale. You may be wondering, where is Tahiti? The islands are situated halfway between Los Angeles, California, and Sydney, Australia. They are in the same time zone as Hawaii and located just as far south of the equator as Hawaii is north. Since the word often conjures up visions of a distant, unspoiled paradise, many assume them to be far away. But in all reality, Tahiti is only eight hours from Los Angeles, 
The island of Tahiti is divided into two parts. The larger portion to the northwest is known as Tahiti Nui, while the smaller southeastern peninsula is known as Tahiti Iti. Tahiti Nui is dominated by three extinct volcanic mountains, including Mount Orohina, the tallest in French Polynesia, Mount Aorai, known for its incredible views, and La Diadem, which appears to crown the island as the rightful queen. Home to the capital city of Papeete, Tahiti is the economic center of French Polynesia. Since all flights arrive through Fa'a International Airport, your tailored Tahiti vacation will begin and end in Papeete. While you may be tempted to jet off immediately to the other islands, we recommend staying at least a day or two. Tahiti strikes an interesting contrast to some of the more quiet, secluded islands in the region, and with a selection of wonderful and convenient Tahiti resorts available, you will never regret staying. The Allure Papit is a vibrant and multicultural city with busy boulevards and a bustling harbor. The downtown municipal market, La Marche, is an exciting place to purchase all things Tahiti, including vanilla beans, monwai oil, and colorful perios. Just down the street at La Centre Vaima is the Robert Juan Pearl Museum, which is a great place to start if you're hoping to purchase a Tahitian black pearl during your stay. To live like a local, head to Vayette Square after sunset. This waterfront promenade comes to life at night when gourmet food trucks, Les Roulottes, open their windows to serve a range of affordable meals including Chinese food, French crepes, steak frites, fresh fish, and pizza. Celebration Tahiti really is the hub of all cultural activity. Every July, the annual Hava Wai Tahiti transforms the island into a spectacular celebration of Polynesian culture and dance. Year-round, you can also catch an authentic Tahitian dance show at the Intercontinental Resort every Friday and Saturday night. Permanent historical fixtures include the House of James Norman Hall, Point Venus, the Museum of Tahiti and Her Islands, the Paul Gauguin Museum, and the Harrison Smith Botanical Gardens. These can all be seen on a guided Circle Island tour, or you can rent a car and explore the island at your leisure. Final Impression Often overlooked by travelers eager to experience the outer islands, Tahiti is more than just a means to an end. How much time you choose to spend here is up to you, but give yourself a chance to see everything the island has to offer, beyond the initial view from the plane. Bora Bora Jewel of the South Seas Undoubtedly the most celebrated island in the South Pacific, Bora Bora is French Polynesia's leading lady. Her beauty is unrivaled and her fame unwavering. Bora Bora is one of the few places on earth that everyone hopes to witness in their lifetime. And once you see it, you are forever enamored. The Allure More than just a romantic ideal, Bora Bora is a romantic reality. It comes as no surprise that the island is an internationally acclaimed honeymoon destination. Our newlyweds who decide on a Bora Bora honeymoon often feel as though they have escaped to a private oasis tailored entirely to their special moment of marital bliss. And anyone in the midst of planning a wedding can relate to just how enticing that sounds. The Locale Bora Bora may feel worlds away, but this South Sea's splendor is well within reach. Where is Bora Bora exactly? The island lies just northwest of Tahiti, less than an hour away by plane from Papit. The airport is located on a small, separate part of the island known as Motu Mite. Upon arrival, you will be greeted with a warm smile and fragrant flower lay and transferred by boat to your Bora Bora resort, meaning you hardly have to wait for your first encounter with the island's famously translucent lagoon. The inevitable love affair with this island begins right before you touch down. The view from the plane window is a moment you will not soon forget. Have your camera in hand as you begin your descent and prepare for the moment when iconic Mount Otamanu comes into view. From that point on, each experience will only continue to exceed even your highest expectations. Final Impression Once seen, Bora Bora is never forgotten. From the day you arrive until the moment you part ways, you will be in awe of how her soaring mountain peaks, turquoise lagoon, and luxuriant overwater bungalows somehow look even more spectacular than the pictures. In conclusion, Tahiti stands as a captivating gem, a paradisiacal wonder nestled in the heart of the vast Pacific Ocean. As we've ventured through this enchanting island, 
we've discovered that it truly embodies the essence of seclusion, with its remote location making it the most isolated island in France. The serene beauty of its lush landscapes, azure waters, and vibrant culture has left an indelible mark on our hearts. Beyond its breathtaking natural scenery, Tahiti's unique blend of French and Polynesian influences has created a harmonious tapestry of traditions and modernity. The warmth and hospitality of the locals have made us feel like we've become a part of their extended family. Exploring the island has been an adventure of a lifetime, from hiking through dense rainforests to experiencing the mesmerizing Polynesian dance performances. Tahiti's rich history, steeped in captivating legends and fascinating lore, has added a layer of mystery and allure to our journey. As we bid farewell to this magical destination, we are filled with gratitude for the unforgettable memories we've made. Tahiti's isolation from the bustling world has given us a rare chance to disconnect and embrace the simplicity of life, reminding us of the importance of preserving our planet's untouched havens. We hope this travel vlog has offered a glimpse of the awe-inspiring beauty and serenity that Tahiti exudes, urging all fellow adventurers to embark on their own journey to this remote slice of paradise. Let us treasure and protect this isolated island, for it represents not only a unique part of France, but also a treasure trove of natural wonders that deserves to be cherished for generations to come. So until we meet again, Namanu Rere Arima, Farewell Tahiti.